Kiki, Hi. welcome. Hi, I know it's been a long day for you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. First for and foremost, me. how are you? How are you doing? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. Yes. Yeah, speaking yeah. of excitement, USC. Yes. I know it caused a lot of noise <laughs> on social media. Everyone was very excited for you on this team at this program. How excited are you? I'm ecstatic. I love these girls. I grew up playing with a lot of them, so now to be teammates is super, super, super special. Yeah. Um, and then to be back home in LA with my family is great. It's always great to be home, yes. right? I mean, you're playing with one of the biggest stars in college basketball, yeah. Juju Watkins. What have you seen from her so far? Yeah, I think for her, she sets, she leads by example. So whatever she asks of her teammates, she's making sure that she does it herself. Um, and then outside of basketball, I think she's just like super fun, super goofy. Like she's still just a kid. So yeah. it's been great to just like connect with her a lot this summer. The chemistry has to be off the chains. Yes. I mean, I've seen you and Juju walking around here together. <laughs> you guys look like the best of friends. But as a team, yeah. obviously, you know, when you talk about basketball, the X's and the O's are very important. Logistics are really important. But that chemistry is really yeah. what takes you to the next level. Why are you so confident in the chemistry of this USC team going into this season? Yeah, I think from day one since I got to USC, we were already, like, close like this. Mm -hmm. So I think all of us off the court, we like to spend a lot of time with each other. A lot of us live with each other. So I think that off-court chemistry chemistry is super important and then it'll just translate on the court pack 12 mip most improved player <laughs> that's an, a that's a phenomenal award to get Thank it just you. showcases that you've made so many strides in your development as a player that it's noticeable to everybody what have you done going into this season to take your game even further to the next level yeah i think for me basketball is very mental so i think i had that improvement last year because i worked mm -hmm. on my mental so this year is continue continuing with that and trusting them in the process and then i think on the court it's just like stretching stretching my game so working on my three working on my defense and kind of all, doing all the little things so that we can be the best team out uh, in November. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Listen, Cameron Brink, you played with her at Stanford. Yeah. Obviously, her rookie season was cut short, very unfortunately, due to yeah. injury. I mean, what was it like for you seeing that? Did you reach out to her? Have you guys yeah. spoken? Are you still, you know, very close? Yeah, um, I sent flowers to her house when I heard Aww. the news. Um, but I've been to some of her games this season. I got to see her and chat a little bit. She just got engaged. She so. did. Congratulations, Cameron. Beautiful <laughs> yes. ring. Beautiful Congrats, photos. Cameron. Love yes. you, girl. Um, but no, she's great. Yeah. What have you seen in the in the short window where she was playing in her rookie season? What have you seen from her that just speaks to her testament as a player and, mm -hmm. you know, the dedication she has to her craft? Yeah, Cam is so competitive. So even with this injury, I know she's going to come back even stronger. But I'd say she was able to showcase a lot more of her game than she was in college. So, like, her dribbling from the perimeter, shooting mm -hmm. the threes, things like that. We know she can block shots, so I think, honestly, everything from college was able to translate, and then she just continued to add more and more. Um, but, yeah, I think that's such a great role model and someone that I was able to play with closely and see how she was able to do really well in the W and kind of emulate myself for that next year. I want to talk about your game. What are some of the things that you really took with you when you were in the gym every mm -hmm. single day and were like, I'm coming back, and I'm coming back with a vengeance from mm -hmm. this part of my game? Mm -hmm. Honestly, for me, it's a little thing. So <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I take – fundamentals are important. Honestly. Yeah. So it's like taking everything very seriously. And, like, when I work out, I'm like, this could be a game-winning shot. This could be the shot that would tie the game. So kind of just taking everything very seriously and not going through the motions. Um, but in terms of my game, I think, you know, I really love my, my jump shot. So that's mm -hmm. something that's going to stick with me. But then, again, it's just translating and trying to uh, stretch the arc and move to three as well. Listen, I said in the beginning of this interview that when you joined USC, it made a lot of noise. I mean, this team has so much talent. Yeah. For the people who are unfamiliar, how close do you feel like this team is to winning the whole thing? Yeah, I think on any team you're on, you always want to be like, yes, we can be a national right. championship team. But I really feel it this year like I have no other. And I think we're all just bought in. Like, everyone wants to work super hard. The freshmen are in the gym 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, but we know it's like it's going to take some time. And, like, we're kind of just taking it day by day, winning today, keeping the main thing the main thing. Um, but I have a lot of confidence in my teammates and myself. So I'm really excited to see what we can do in April. Obviously, the trajectory that you establish in this part of your collegiate career is going to follow you into your professional career. Yeah. And when we talk about the rookie class, I mean, Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, Rakia Jackson, I mean, the list goes on and on. How exciting is it for you to see, particularly this draft class, yeah. everything they've been able to do on and off the court, yeah. brand deals, just everything, podcasts, you name it. 
is it something that you're really looking forward to diving into head first and just really going ahead and figuring out your lane and just capitalizing on from day one. Yeah, I think the rookies of this past class have done an amaz- amazing job just on the court and off the court. I feel like on the court, they didn't try to do too much. They just stayed within themselves, and they were able to see so much success. And then the amazing things that they're doing off court, going to fashion shows, and, and I love fashion. So I, You came with that fit on. <laughs> I said when you walked up, this is such a cute outfit. Thank yeah. you. So definitely kind of like having them set the stage a little bit for me, and like I can see all the opportunities that I can have in the next year. Um, but no, I think this rookie class is honestly an amazing class and it's something that I'm really excited to look forward to in a few months is it exciting to just be a woman in sports right now it is like I I say this all the time I feel so blessed to be a woman in sports at this time I feel like all the women before me who have like fought for this and paved the way um, and I get to reap the benefits right now yeah and then you get to pave the way for the generation that comes after you so we wish you the best of luck and a healthy season thank you so much thank you All right, we already know you're a hooper, but for people who want to doubt it, what's one thing you can do with the basketball to show us you are a true hooper? I can dunk it. (laughs) We should have brought a basket. If you don't believe her, watch USC games. That's all I got. Okay, I'm going to give you a scenario. It's three seconds left in the game. One player can take the final shot. You're down by one. James Harden or LeBron James? LeBron James. Okay, LeBron or Kawhi? LeBron James. LeBron or Kevin Durant? LeBron James. Wow, okay. LeBron or Steph Curry? Come on, you saw him in the Olympics. Yeah, but LeBron James. <laughs> okay, LeBron or Kobe Bryant? Oh, my goodness. I know. Okay, one, I'm a one. Lakers girl, so Kobe. All right, yeah. mama mentality. We're going with that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you a blind ranking of popular basketball movies. You okay. don't know which one's coming next, all right? You got to think on this carefully. It's a strategic decision. Okay. OG Space Jam. One. Ooh, good answer. Yeah. Air Bud. Four. Okay. <laughs> Coach Carter. Two. Like Mike. Three. You like your list? I love it. Yeah. I like it. We finally got a Space Jam for one. Finally. <laughs>